Hi, Parker. Ugh. This is sort of a palate cleanser after Tap My Katamari, which is not as good of a game as this is. Parky, please don't bump the mic. Oof. Neck is stiff. Oh, yeah, he saw the tap my Katamari. Oh, here we go. What a pure, perfect game. Innocent and beautiful. With the ducks. I'm surprised there was no dramatic zoom in on the King of All Cosmos's crotch. Cause there's some there's some very intense crotch in this game. Ah, oh, 97%. I remember this game this game has the most ridiculous trophy. Well one of them anyway. There's some trophies that are literally impossible to get now. But uh But this one has a really bad one. For the collection for 100 percent there's no guidance on where what you missed is, and there's no- there's like over 2,000 objects, so there's no list online for what you, uh, what you need to do. Hey, Prince! Let's just go with the Prince, for now. Well, why do you have the Queen's face on? Um... He looked up, is it possible to be allergic to immortal racist people? Alright, um... Change of bread house, roll up sweets. Is this, is there like a known, is there like a single best Katamari game by the way? Like I know basically all of them are kind of remakes and like enhanced ports of the first one. But like, does this one have like everything all the other ones do and have and more or is Beetle? Beautiful Katamari, the best one, or I don't know. Oh, the Fireflies one. I think this was a cool one. Uh, let's just do normal Katamari. Uh, how do we? Classic new wood comic book. I oh, asked yeah, just do normal. Um, where's Katamari on the rocks? Katamari in the swing is wait. Nah, Katamari on the Wings is the one I really like, but... Where's Katamari on the Rocks? There we go. Wait, 5 centimeter Prince Mirror, ah, whatever. That's fine. Rinter Records. So kitschy. Recorders. So kitschy yet classical. You know that high note? Love it. Cherish. Misplaced our harmonium, though. Don't care, huh? All right, you can control the king's face and where he spits the words. Good stuff. Pitch black. No wonder our heads feel so icky. Why are we whispering? All in our mind, yes? Look, someone studying. Having trouble reading. We can't remember... We can't remember so we can't see. Zip the lit crit. We're taking this somewhere. So you make a katamari with fireflies. Until it's big enough to roll him up and all bright. Help him equals help us. Ah, the power of metaphors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is not the original Katamari thing, is it? Hmm. It's gotta have the original Katamari music somewhere in here, right? I think there's just a crap ton of songs in this. What is this remix? I don't remember all of the music in this game. It's been a long time since I played this. When did this come out? Like 2007? 2008? It was a moderately early uh, PS3 game. Yeah. 
Huh, beam's not working for you? Huh. Yeah, some people have issues with beam. I tend to not, but beam... I told them, and I guess there's some people just have issues and some, um... I guess it's issues between them and a bunch of other servers, not necessarily like your exact setup, but like if you go through one of the wrong links, it might be bad. Does this song ever start? Also, is this like sketchy shader? Like, is this part of the this level or is this something I picked? Because there's like a bunch of different. Come on. Wait, how do I jump? Isn't there a jump button? Oh yeah, part two. Hey James. Oh, give me, give me the things. Yeah, I thought this one, I thought either this one or Beautiful Katamari was the best one and has like all of the extra stuff. I never played the PlayStation 2 one, but I got it for like two bucks on PSN. I should play it sometime, but I think this game has like most of it. Like if you're aware of um, Touch My Katamari on Vita, I think it's like kind of a redo of a bunch of these levels. And it doesn't have as much stuff as this one, so I can't recommend that one, especially unless you, you know, if you only have a Vita or if you only, uh, or if you, you know, prefer to play it on the go, I guess. This, this remix is not at all what I was expecting. I figured there'd be more things to get that weren't fireflies. Yeah, this one has a lot of, like, very specialized missions. Maybe the original one did too, I don't know. This is the only, or this is the first Katamari game I played. I also have, uh, Touch My Katamari. Oh, uh, 2009? Huh. Well, not too different from what I thought. Yeah, the... Yeah, Europe gets a lot of crap late. Um, usually just a few days, but uh, certain publishers don't, like, work well with Europe, or, like, they have different publishers for Europe. I'll touch my Katamari is quite the tribute. I mean, it's not bad, but, um... It doesn't have as many levels. Like, I remember getting through Touch My Katamari real quickly. And I was kind of disappointed after this one. Can I? Oh. What? Oh, I guess once you get a certain size, you uh, auto-do it. It's been a long time since I played this. <laughs> Good old encouraging king. <laughs> Lighting an adults. Aw, 38. We need bigger, yes. <laughs> You've done it now, dim bulb Katamari. I don't... Expose... Alright, it's worse than the one we have, so we want Stardust. Oh yeah, apparently Sun and Moon came later because uh, Europe... Um, some stores broke the street date, and then Sun and Moon broke the street date anyway, so. Aw, oh, Mr. Snowman! Come here, Mr. Snowman. Oh, I just killed one of my cousins. But yeah, this one has, like, unlockable costumes for the- I don't know if the original one had them or not, but... I don't think it had the multiplayer stuff. There's some multiplayer-only levels in this, actually. I 
I think I played most of those. I'm not sure if I played all of them, though. So it was like the Robo King's Cosmos, all of the new levels, and these are like ones from the first game, or... Gingerbread House... Oh, the Cow Bear level is a classic, and I also <laughs> don't really like playing it. Um... Alright, I think the King has like more weird challenges, and then the Robo King is just make big things. I think I've beaten every level with everything. Oh, I guess there's some curios that I haven't found. Let's look for that curio, I guess. Make a star. Sure. Uh, let's find a better song. Wait, can I sample the song? No. Oh yeah, Katamari on the wings, that's a good one, sure. Eh, we don't care, Robo King. He doesn't have the kingly crotch, so we don't have to listen to him. Hmm. Dropping 3% of frames, but I'm not sure if that's... I'm not sure if my internet issues are fixed or not. I... They said they should be fixed by today, like this is the last day. Like, I should expect there to be issues. Alright, he complains when you interrupt him, it's great. <laughs> He's so- the king, I love the Robo King. He suffers, so... Aw, oh, no, I can't eat it. Hey, Soma. Or I guess Soma Sam. Yeah, I think you probably just call you Sam. Katamari on the, sw on the wings is one of my favorites. There we go, eat the batteries. There you go. Ah, the traditional American Koketsu. Hey, Blue Ninja. Aw, oh, I can still can't eat those. Give me the bricks, give me the Legos, give me the off-brand Legos. They're delicious. <sighs> I think this sketchy thing must be a shader and I don't know how to turn it off. I played pretty much everything you could of this game, but there's still some like really hard to get really obscure crap. Well, it's not like hard, it's just like very particular and like there's no way you could know that like you're missing what. Get, come here, no, get the curio. I usually prefer tap tap. Oh. Well, I forgot that's what those things do, I guess. Ow. Ow, get out of here. Burbs? Oh, I can't. I can't roll up the burbs. Not yet. Soon. Alright, there's a game on Steam that's basically a clone of this. Um, it's like the end of the world or something. You just like roll up a bunch of stuff. It obviously doesn't have as much charm as Katamari, but same kind of idea. Oh, there's the uh, iOS gun emoji. Not as much stuff to roll up out here. Not my size, anyway. Come here. Oh, nothing! I guess I shouldn't have come out here this early. Here we go. Aw, oh, yes, the watermelons! That's a delicious Katamari. Except for all the mice and stuff in it. You know, that's just a little bit of protein with your, uh, watermelons. Yeah, just get the mice in there. Yeah, wonderful end of the world, that's it. I played a few levels. 
It's not bad, but it's not. It's not Katamari. Oh yes, the little Power Ranger dudes! I know they're Sentai, but there's, there'll always be Power Rangers to me, I'm sorry. Aw, oh, what? Hmm. Oh yes, eat the walkie-talkies! Oh, they make wonderful, horrible screaming noises whenever I get them up. Ah, get, jump! Jump! No! Ugh. If you've never played Katamari before, it uh, uses both sticks to, like, determine whether you're moving forward, backwards, or turning. It's a really unique setup that, uh, very much designed for a dual analog thing. It's kind of fun. It, it, when was the first Katamari? I think it was fairly early for a thing to use dual analog really well. It was on PS2, so I mean, not, like, crazy early. But there's still a lot of, like, really funky games, like, control methods on, uh, on PlayStation 2. Ah, oh, yes, we need the piggy banks now. The original Katamari is still really worth playing. Um, I'm not sure it's that different from this one, really. I think this has a bunch of more stages and like extra stuff, but like this is kind of like an enhanced port. Like it's a bit more than that, I think. But. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff in the original game, too. That's not big enough? Oh, crap. Tiny Katamari detected all. Oh. Rude. Oh, 2004. Uh-oh. I forgot about this! The terrifying game over thing where he tries to murder you with, like... All right, and there's actually an achievement for getting this and surviving long enough. I love that just the game, game over screen is its own mini game. And yeah, that, my high score must have that must be enough for the thing. It gets pretty hard. Um, uh, let's play a different level. Hey, chaos, good. I remember updating trophy information. It takes forever. Speaking of trophies, um, can I look at the trophies in game? Or I probably have to. Yeah, I have everything, I think, but one, and it's freaking ridiculous. Um, completionist. Completest. Complete 100% of the collection. Do I have any other things to get? No, I don't. See, all of these other trophies are pretty good, and um, I didn't mind getting them. But the collection thing is ridiculous. Let me show you the collection. Cousins and presents. Yeah, here we go. Katamari collection. It's okay. I actually prefer when people chat on Beam, because then I can respond faster. Mini games, photo album. Collection, there we go. Yeah, so the thing with the collection is... Wait, what even... What am I even missing? Oh, that just means something new. Okay, so... Wait, 100%? So yeah, there's like one random thing in here I'm missing. Yeah, exactly one random thing. And I don't know what it is. And it doesn't give me any hints as to where it is, it just tells me that it's a cleaning thing. And as far as I know, nobody ever made a full list of all of the items in this game. There's like over 2,000. Uh, there's over 4,000! It says it right at the top of the screen. So I need to find, like, what, ten items, maybe? Um, let's see if there's a specific category. Okay, so I'm missing a part of the Robo King. I can find that one, because that's only in one level. And Cosmos is pretty easy, because there's only, like, you have to be in the super big area. 
to get that one. So I could probably get these ones, because the Cosmos size stuff... Wait... I actually think you have to make these stars before you can get them, but maybe. But the problem is that it's not like one single item I'm missing. There's like a ton of random little stuff. I could go try to get the la the Robo King thing. I'm not sure if I would know it when I get it though. Wait, it says new when you roll up a new thing, I guess, doesn't it? Poor Robo King. Um, new classic wood. Swing. Where's regular Katamari on the rocks? No, not that one. Katamari on the funk. And let's do swing, I guess. Not locations, just names and sizes. That's completely useless. the loading. I don't know how to turn this filter off. It's... that's something that's like, that's not always on, right? <laughs> oh, get going. Oh dang, this one's short. <laughs> He's so edgy. Alright, we get we get extra minutes as we get the broken hearts, I remember now. Ow. not the one I was thinking of either. There's a lot of music in this game, though. Go through the second broken heart. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I still can't roll those up. Hey, sick. What's this about artificial chemicals? Please don't tell me that this weird frame is the game. What do you mean? Oh. I... Oh, God damn it, Mediacom. Yeah, I think we're still having frame issues. They were supposed to fix it, but maybe they didn't... Maybe they needed a special part or some crap. So he said to call him if they didn't have it fixed by Tuesday. Oh dang, the, the timer still goes while he's talking to you. What a jerk. Hold up. Um, let's try reducing the... Ugh, this is going to look like crap, but I'm going to reduce the bitrate and see if that helps out any. See you, balloon. Oh, give me the heart. Give me the heart. I need to eat it. Oh, I can't see it. Uh, there's some weird camera crap. Oh, it rolls across his face. I see. Ah, oh, no. Controls. Give me the heart. Yeah. We actually just want to roll up everything that we can instead. I'm just ending the level early. And hopefully we can get this thing. I 
Found a rare item guide. That might be more helpful. Though it's possible I just have some, like, common but, like, easy to miss things, but maybe they'd be in that guide, too. Ah, here we go. You can tell that Namco published this because there's so much Pac-Man in some of these remixes. I'm not really sure I feel like rare hunting today, though. I just kind of wanted to relax a bit and hopefully bask in a non-crappy stream-like thing. But uh, I'm not sure that last one is happening. Hold on, let me check something. Killed one drive just in case. Ah, here we go. Now we can roll this up. I love some of the random crap he has inside of him. If we could just actually get in there. Yeah, he's got a store inside of his head. Which, that's convenient. You know, oh, his face is gone. I don't like some of these remixes nearly as much as the original songs, but, uh... I guess it's, you know, it's still a win for variety. Oh, crap. Oh, man, his robo-face is creepy. Ah, here we go. Can't roll up the feet. Ah, come on! Katamari, go! My Katamari is big as 16 fluffs. Okay. This is a very small Robo King, I guess, if it's only like, you know, as big as 18 fluffs. Ah, roll the thing! Get the crown at least! Ah, shameful display. Okay. Let's make sure we actually get that heart. Uh-oh. No, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart! Okay. Just in time! I've been rolled up. What an odd sensation. It feels like... Downloading Theosaurus, stand by. Whee! I'm not sure Wee isn't Theosaurus, but, uh... You're the robot. I've been rolled up. I'll never be the same. This is kind of weird. He's holding his own, like, self. What a strange feeling. I'll say. 80, 855 Cosmos. Oh, cruel fate, how you mock me. I know better than scrap metal. Oh no! This game loves to insult your Katamaris. category ranking Robo King. Really? I'm made from weird things? Calculating score. Ah! Why 38? Why always 38? Semiconductor plant. Rip. Oops, no, I didn't want the same thing again. Hmm. Is it seeming any more stable? The number of drop frames hasn't gone up like, well, the percentage hasn't anyway. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, back to the village square. Uh, I guess I just had to lower the bitrate a bit. 
some high quality sounds in this game. Oh, we get to be whatever this is with a cork for a face. The two player mode is really fun. You both have to roll the same Katamari and it's very clumsy. And uh, there's a two player like battle mode you can also play where you both have your own Katamari. I can't tell if they fixed it or not. I have to assume no, since I was dropping some frames. But I don't know why they don't just call me when they've fixed the thing instead of being like, oh yeah, it'll be fixed around this time. I think I have all of the cousins, because I think that was an achievement. So I think I'm just missing a few. I don't know what that star means. Is that just a, a curio or what? Wait, where's that race one? There was a raceway level I remember being fun. I don't know if... Race? Alright, let's do Katamari Drive. Uh, sure, Katamari on the Funk. Yeah, it just dipped again. I don't think they've fixed it. There's actually different like flavor text for all these things on Katamari Drive and Classic Drive or Classic Katamari and stuff. Right, we need to make this one a kilometer in size. Sorry for not chatting. Oh, it's fine. I prefer- I kinda prefer Katamari Drive because it's so fast. Let me just, I love the guys with the giant pompadours. Uh, if you didn't know, there's this- um, there's a Twitter account that tweets every Katamari collection item. I think it actually did tweet everything, at least from the first game. I'm not sure if they're still going or what, but uh... That, that account's really cool, and I actually learned that um that uh, boy was near Pluto from that account from Nobi Nobi Boy that's if you like this art style and stuff you'd you'd like Nobi Nobi Boy it's a less goal focused um, game by the same creator did I mention that I am the Robo King? I just wanted to get that out of the way anyway you're over three meters so you can go outside thanks thanks Robo King let's just eat this entire oh let's just eat everything Team. Yeah, this was the first game where I was like really frustrated by a trophy because like I had, I was so close. I had played like pretty much everything, and I wasn't really just playing for trophies. I just wanted to 100% it because I really liked it. Um, but then the actual last trophy ended up being completely ridiculous. Like, it's... It might not be the worst that of any game that I've played, but... It's the most annoying one that I recall. Like, that I actually tried to get. Did they edit out the part where they say Katamari on the funk? It does kind of sound like they say Katamari on the fuck, but... I didn't think they'd, like, edit it out of the song. Hey, Roni. <laughs> I 
I remember that traffic jam. It's, there's a lot of really fun stuff going on in the uh, background of the Katamari levels. It really adds a lot to the game. It's a super charming series. And uh, the creator is actually making a new game called uh, Watam, which we're still waiting on. But uh, and the mighty Robo King. Oh, and you're now the twelfth. Yeah, yeah, Robo King. Giant squid. Yeah, on the right level, you can grow extremely quickly, as you can see. Just because you start out small does not necessarily mean your Katamari will end up small. And these worldwide ones are really cool, because there's, there's so much going on in them. It, it's kind of worth a playthrough to just go through real slow and just take everything in. Like, not into your Katamari, but like... Just look at it. Yeah, they definitely added out, edited the funks out of this song, which is kind of hilarious. If you can find the original version, it's on YouTube. It totally sounds like they're saying Katamari on the fuck, though. I guess it's what happens when you have Japanese people um, directing a song with English words. Just some minor mistakes were made. Also, giant wrestler in the ocean you might have seen there. Up oh, Easter Island! Rip. Oh, suddenly America. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. We just rolled up a lot of freedom. Oh, hey, there's Mount Rushmore. We just absorbed Mount Rushmore, too. Right in New York City, right where I remember Mount Rushmore being. There's the Statue of Liberty. But yeah, Katamari is really fun. Um, this is Katamari Forever. Um, you can get this game, there's different versions, but this is probably the best one, I guess. Um, but you can get it on PS2, 360, PS3, and there's a Vita version as well. Gosh, the Power Rangers. Oh yeah, the Power Rangers movie looks terrible. And, uh, did I get the Kaiju? Oh, there's the Kaiju. There you go. Pale colors detected. Initializing faction mode. Oh, can I get the bridge? No. Here's San Francisco, apparently. Yeah, there's a giant wrestler fighting, I think, a kaiju, if I recall correctly. Now get the thing, get the curio. Yeah! There's the Eiffel Tower. Oh, there's a cousin who is giant. I'm the Robo King. Yes, well back to rolling. And it does a fairly seamless... Um, it, uh, well, not really, really seamless, but, uh, it sort of downsizes everything as you size up. So that, like, the world kind of expands. And everything is smaller. Oh, there's another cousin. Oh, we can't eat up the, uh, things. There's another cousin. I already have all the cousins collected, so I don't really need to collect them, but... It's a cute touch that, at a certain scale, everything turns out to be made out of these big hexagons, which just kind of lets them make the world, you know, destructible or whatever. Giant rocket in a, uh, mountain. Very James Bondy. Man, there's like every cousin- is like every cousin in the game in this level? There's a fired genie, I think. Yeah, there's another cousin. It has to be all of them, because it's like... I've already found like six. But yeah, the Power Rangers thing looks terrible. They had Alpha... They showed Alpha 5. He's... Horrifically bad. He's like an... He's, he's like a gray alien, but like... With like, jaundice and stuff. And I don't know. He's... 
or whatever that thing is with like your stomach protrudes. I guess it's not jaundice, is it? Whatever. Wait, did I just roll up the prince? Oh, I did! I rolled up the prince! And there's the king. He looks like an oddly high budget, um, annoying frog character, or crazy frog character, is how I described it in Discord. Yeah, I think it says Fire Jin when you uh, get it, or something like that. got a bunch of angels. I forgot about the angels. Is are we, yeah, He's still too big. Suddenly everything is very small. Oh no! We're almost done? Oh, there's the queen! But I, everything is so tiny. I'm not sure if you can get enough stuff to roll up the king. Can we at least get that? No? Oh, lame. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to- Oh, we can get the clouds! Oh, I got- I got the queen! Was that a cute object? Oh, it's the queen! Oh no, the king! Oh, I wanted to get the- roll up the king. What is that ball rolling around? Uh, it's- it's the Katamari. We roll the Katamari, we roll all of the things up. And then we make a star. So I think that was a pretty good one. Ah, oh, Katamari Drive. You're not fun. You're dangerous! I just dislocated an elbow out there. Anyway, yes, let's get to it. Analyzing size. Ah, oh, almost four times the size. Um, that was a very nice try. Rude! You have to get like 100% before they like kind of compliment you. Also plants and streets. Ah, oh, see I... 89, and he just gives you a backhanded compliment. Secret Big Bang. Oh, that sounds... that sounds lewd. Rip. What is this downloading? Weird. My download keeps spiking every few seconds. Don't know what that is. Do I have the stream open in a tab or something? Alright, I think I got rid of it. Uh, who's this? Are we a chicken bowling pin? It's kind of strange for K that Katamari does. Well, it's kind of it's just the king's personality, which is to say awful. But um, it's funny because the game is very like if you listen to Katamari on the rocks, it's like don't worry, do your best. Then the king, you know, isn't quite that nice. Um. All right, and there's eternal mode where you get to make whatever size you want. Or you just decide when to end it, basically. Ecology moon. Um, sure. Wait, can I change that filter? I don't know. Let's check my options. I haven't... Uh, sound and vibration. Title screen. Cousins and presents? Is that it? Hey, Peyton. Presents. Alright, this is where you can dress up your cousin. <laughs> Bikini. 
Yeah, the formal outfit, mask, and bro are like... The bro is a little clone of your cousin. The formal outfit is a special outfit just for that cousin. And the mask is sort of like a thing for the cousin as well. Oh, that is freaking creepy. Yeah, we're not wearing that. That's the uh, grandfather. Um, secret wig. Party whistle. Gum. Oh, yes, we want. Yes, gum. Definitely. I think that's all there is here. Wasn't that a game in the series where we made a Katamari entirely out of roses? There's usually some, like, very specific fiddly stuff you have to do for certain levels. So that sounds familiar. If if it was, it'd be in King's Cosmos, probably. School shopping sumo. Aw, you can't do Katamari Drive for these. I want to play more Katamari Drive, so we're just going to go back to the king, the Robo King. This is very Japan. Yeah, it's very, uh... It's very, um, much the creator's style. Um... Danger. Let's do the moon as Katamari Drive, I guess. Wood, sure. Alright, they list like random things sometimes and stuff. Like a bunch of famous places or whatever. Hmm, where do we start out? There we go. Some turnips. Ah. It's kind of neat, but also annoying that uh, if you roll up something oddly shaped, it does affect how your Katamari rolls. So if you get something really long, it'll screw you up for a little while. The Katamari always eventually smooths out as you get a bunch more stuff, but uh, it's one of those realistic and neat, but also annoying sorts of things. I do wish the drive, the one thing I don't like about Katamari Drive is you do have to constantly hear the, uh, you know, the fancy race car engine. Uh-oh. Katamari Drive is just basically, you play the main game, but uh, you have like a way faster Katamari. And you have better control over it too. Which is probably just mostly because you have so much forward force, it's just easier to get around. Tunis. Get the tunas. No, get the tunas. Oh, I'm too small for the tunas. Oh, now I can get the tunas. There you go. Ah, oh, whatever tunas. I'm too good for you. Jump up! And some of these is certain times where it's kind of hard to expand. Just because you don't find enough stuff. There we go, there we go. Now give me the tunas. Yes, eat the tunas. Very good. Can I eat the fence yet? No? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get this thing. Can't wait for Watam to come out. Have we heard anything about Watam? I'm not sure if anybody else in here is like aware of that, but uh, that's the new game from uh, Kaito Takeshi, is how you say that right? Um, creator of this series. 
I'm always afraid I'll shit, nah, say Japanese names wrong. It's okay, because most other people probably will too. Yes, eat the peoples. So here we go. There's those kinds of little points where you have rough going, and then you find a ton more stuff to uh, roll up. Did this come out for PS2? Yeah, this was originally on PS2. This is the uh, PS3 version. very hard to resist singing the song. There we go, eat the fences. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Ring out. Yeah, you roll up bigger and bigger stuff as you increase in size. And uh, eventually the world sort of zooms out, and then you get access to more areas and stuff. As your Katamari gets big enough to go to the next area. See, like it did just there. Oh, I can't roll up the house yet. Oh, it's a bunch of cars? Ah, oh, battery, no! That's fine. I think this is the PS3 controller, so it should probably last for the rest of the stream, at least. Ah, oh, I'm back here. Oh, come on. Where's the stuff? Here's some more stuff I can get. Alright, the descriptions for a lot of the things you can roll up are actually really good. Uh, remind me to be sure to show that off before I end the stream. Oh, can't go that way. Ugh. What's the deal? I can't get any bigger around here. Oh man, I need to be a lot bigger. What's... what am I missing? Why can't I roll those up yet? Boats. It can be a little confusing sometimes. If I could just roll up these trees, I'd be good. They're making a Rampage movie? Uh, they haven't even made a Rampage game in a long time. Why don't Why don't they make a game first? Was the Rampage Wii game any good? I heard about that, but I never got it. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright. There you go. Oh, shut up, King. Rampage B got boring fast. Uh. It's the sort of thing you'd probably have to add a lot of like modes and stuff to nowadays to make a modern one. I played the um, I played the arcade version and the uh, PlayStation One uh, Universal Tour, I believe it was. A friend of mine was really good at that, and he could get all the way to hell and stuff. I never really got super far. Ugh. Itchy eye. Ugh. Ugh. 
Hold on, I need to get a drink. Rampage Total Destruction. Is that the Wii one? Alright, I'll be back. Hey, Parky. Oh, you cut your finger? Hope it's something serious. Yeah, Universal Tour I thought had pretty good charm and stuff. There's a lot of different locations and stuff that were new. It felt a bit more, you know, there's a, lot, there's a bit more to it than, uh, you know, the arcade game. Like, areas had more personality and stuff. Maybe not Katamari levels of personality, but, uh... I mean, just in Final Fantasy XV, nah, not really. I do need to start up World of Final Fantasy soon, though. Loading humorous anger mode, standby. This is Katamari! Oh, you just hit 61. Humorous anger mode. Yeah, the the dialogue from Robo King is a bit stupider since, um... This is, uh... Just sort of like a replay mode. So they change up his dialogue, which is neat! But it's all just, you know, silly dumb stuff. The car requires fuel. Final Fantasy VIII did that, actually. The car wasn't required, though, and it was fairly easy to just not use the car. But it lets you avoid uh, random encounters and moves a little bit faster. The, the car was kind of really cool and back in Final Fantasy VIII. It fit the world in general pretty well. Oh no, we only have a minute. Yeah. We'll hit the target, but what the, does, what the game doesn't tell you is that the target only scores like 30 points. You have to get way above the target, usually like several times the target to get uh, max score. But you don't have to get max score to proceed or anything. But it does result in the king scorning you. like random bits of the terrain happen to be things that are too big for you to roll up so you bounce off and aw, oh, we're not gonna make it. I did not expect to have this much trouble in this level. There were some awkward periods where I did not get many things at all. Dang. <laughs> it's still better. An angry Katamari is coming out. It's still better than your Katamari. <laughs> Alright. We screwed up. Eh, not this level. Let's do a different level. Isn't there a one we can roll up the whole village square? What's the one we can roll up the cosmos? Apparently it wasn't the one I was in before. Is it maybe one of the King's ones? I think the frame drop problem is mostly contained for now. King's Dream.
I think it might be the King's Dreams one. Uh, Final Fantasy 15? Nah, I'm not really interested in 15. Um, I'm gonna play World of Final Fantasy really soon, though. I might stream a bit of it, not the whole thing, because it's surely really long, but, uh... great, but also awful. I don't even know how I heard of this game. I don't... I don't recall anyone talking about it. I ended up with it and I loved it. Cruelly ignored. The beer cracks. Eek. The curse upon us. Oh yeah, this is the one where you get to roll out the cosmos, I'm pretty sure, because yeah. A thousand kilometers. That's fairly large, I would say. Huh? What the? Oh, you can go into the building! I, didn't, I don't remember that. Kind of the thing is that the king is this super hard ass and the prince is all trying to please him so he rolls up all of the stuff for him. Because so we need to make new stars because the king was naughty and kind of destroyed the cosmos. He's, he's a bit of a knob. Also I regret this brown filter. This is the, this is the seventh gen filter. I forgot it was quite this strong. But it makes everything look wooden and kind of brownish. Hello, Parky. Hi. You here to interrupt me? Parky, please. I can't see. But yeah, there's some different filters you can put on. I guess the sketchy filter is the default one. I thought that was something you had to select, but maybe the classic is that I can't see anything, Parker. He's just sitting directly in front of the TV and staring at me. It's like, hello, human. You're not petting me. Would you like to correct the situation? No, honey. Honey, please. City. All the people inside will be fine. Oh, come on. Oh, there's Lady Liberty over here for some reason. Just go up and knock off Nidra with two heads. I love rolling up all of the arctic ice. Comes off so nice. Let's roll up Constantinople. Something feels fun. Oh yeah. That's another cousin we rolled up. Oh yeah, we're really booking it now. Huh? We demand to be found. I think you have to roll him up. Or something. Uh, you can roll up clouds too once you're big enough. Can you roll that? No. Okay. For its time, the scaling thing was actually really impressive. Because this. The first game was 2004. I mean, the graphics kind of look PS2, but I mean, they look good. They're just, you know, simple. Katamari's always had a really great, you know, 
flat art style. Which is kind of not complemented by the brown filter I selected. I'd forgotten it was quite this brown. I regret it, but that's fine. We'll change it for the next level. Alright, if I remember correctly, we eventually get to roll up the whole continents and stuff. I really, this is a really good level. Here we go! Oh right, and the perspective changes and everything. Yeah, this is a really good level. This is my favorite. It's, it's kind of the capstone of the game. Rolled up the Himalayas. Arby's. Arby's? I didn't realize Arby's was like memes escaping. Oh, hey, there's America. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. <laughs> Just rolled up the Andes. I really like, like I said, this is a really cool level. And it gives you little descriptions of everything that you roll up. You know, you roll up some capital cities. Um, I think I saw Johannesburg there, Myanmar. Um, Shanghai. Not big enough for Australia yet. Yeah, we eventually roll up the entire United States as one big thing. You roll up country by country, which is really neat. Not big enough for Antarctica yet. Uh, not big enough for Freedom Land yet. Uh, most of Asia shouldn't be able to come here, except for China and Russia, of course. There you go. Now we can get China and Russia. There's Russia! Look at Russia! Amazing. I love- this is such a good level. There's America! Earthbound no more, and the cosmos at large. I think you might have to actually make all of the stars in order to get- roll up all of the stars in this one. We're still only a tenth of the way there. Well, it's 100,000 kilometers, not 100 kilometers. Which still seems not... Oh wait, I'm 10 times past the goal. Or 100 times, rather. Oops, I rolled up the king. I forgot that ends the level. Woo, respect. Melt us down and call us ganache, that was sweet! <laughs> Our head is so clear, we can see through it. The best so far. Hmm. To the cosmos and away! <laughs> I forgot, he's actually nice on this one if you do well. Watch him still manage to insult me though. Well done. Butter that roll and pass the jam. Toasty ride all wrong. What'd you get the most? Nature, cosmos, and clouds. Lots of space things. Mitchell's natural things. Ah, Just 100. You can get over 100. I'm not sure if there are like special requirements to it anymore. It's been a while. Oh, hey! New high score. If anybody isn't familiar, Tap My Katamari is this really lame. I mean, it had some potential, but it's really just designed to leech money out of you. It's an idle game they made for Katamari, and it's... Don't play it. I did- I just put out a video of what happens when you get to Sage 3000. You know, which is kind of the ultimate goal of the game, and... What you don't see in that video is that to get that far, you have to spend... Um... Like... If I wasn't cheating, I would have to spend either weeks and weeks and weeks... Redoing the same thing over and over again. 
or like spend hundreds of dollars to get all the crap that I did. And um, the fifty. All right, the snowman one. This is a good one. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, so everything slows down as you get towards the 3,000, and it seems like the next big goal. And then, once you get to 3,000, nothing happens. Nothing at all. It just... it's nothing. So if I recall in this one, you actually get bigger by rolling around in the snow. But you can roll up stuff too. Or do you get bigger? I remember it starting off kind of slow though. What is the game you mentioned in the comment section? Uh, Watam? That's the uh, new game by uh, the uh, developer Takeshi. It looked really cool. I, um, I hope we'll get to check it out and review it, but uh, I don't know when it's planned to release. I think it was announced in like 2014 and it hasn't happened yet. There's those little snow bunnies. Do they like actually make those in Japan? Because I see those in a lot of games. Ow. Yeah, the thing you don't see with that, well, another thing you don't see with that, that video, um, there's multiple points where I had to, like, stop and get, like, a billion upgrades on the path to 3,000. I, I wasn't sure 3,000 was even possible. It's, like, just barely possible, and only if you have maxed everything. And then, <laughs> once you get it, it's nothing. Uh, I'm not really... <laughs> I love that the dudes in sleeping bags yell at you when you run them over. Um, yeah, a lot of idle games will have, you know, kind of a nothing end, but usually it's at least clear that that's the case. Or is Parker? Parker is, like, his allergies are with me. Or his dander, rather, I suppose. Yeah, he's, he's in the other room. You have to do more laps to get big than I thought. Ah, oh, here we go, roll up the huskies. Now we're talking. You kind of got to derp around a bit for that one. Oh, I love that one. That 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 rolling like human thing there has a really good description. We'll have to see that soon. So many guys with pompadours. Psst, aim for five thousand. The thing is, the game does keep counting after three thousand, but like, it's so incredibly slow. And there's like, just, there's just no reason. Something gelid. Oh, it's Sherman. Made ahead of time and frozen, yes? Oops. What are these? Little baby Christmas trees? Oh, cone. But, but, but why? Alright, once you can roll up humans, that's usually when you can get a bunch of new stuff. I think I just heard Mario Kart 64 toad. So I was like, ah! Uh, I can't do... I can't do the Toad Scream. Well, it's not not the Mario Kart 64 Toad. Mario Kart 64 Toad is a good Toad. It's the new Barfy Toad. It's like, bleh! Okay! Yahoo! We're ready for adventure! I don't, I don't like modern Toad. I like old Toad, because old Toad... He's the best! Oh, I can't get the igloo yet. Here we go. I'm the best! There we go. That's a bit better. Nintendo is so bad at picking canon voices for people. 64 Toad... Mario Kart 64 Toad was obviously the best. Um, Yoshi's Island, like, normal, like, chiptune sound Yoshi was way better than the toddler noise Yoshi. Oh, yeah, the snowman's head's a bit bigger now. Can we roll up trees yet? No. Alright, we can... <laughs> I 
I love the dramatic screams from the poor chairlift people. They, they're not having a good time. They'll be fine. I think Toad was Jen Taylor, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm not really good with... I don't really know my voice actors and so on. Did we get that yet? No? Really? Oh hey, we can almost escape. Actually, I don't think you ever get to escape this level. This is one of the chiller levels, no pun intended, of this game. There's one really annoying one. I think it, the the fire, the one where you have to keep the right temperature, that one gets really annoying really fast. I just saw the man, notice the frozen mammoth. Poor guy. Oh. Oh! How do you stand it? High tech underwear. I forgot you have to roll his head on. Hey, we got the best time taken. We'll let it go this time. It doesn't matter. We got weird things. Aw, oh, yeah! 420, blaze it! Blaze the snow. Hey! Heck yeah. Do I want a star or stardust? Cool snowman. I think a freezing snowman planet is way cooler than a cold snowman planet. Toad in 64 was voiced by somebody in Japanese? Really? Because the Jap there is a Japanese Toad and they're horrible. Let me see if I can find you this comparison because Japanese Mario Kart 64 Toad is awful. There's like some weird website I found that has all of the voice clips. Um, Mario Kart 64 Toad comparison. Um, well, I found a video anyway. Find Toad. I do recognize that Japanese one from Mario Kart or Mario Party though, but no, I don't like the the Japanese one as much. That okay or the Yahoo they do is okay, but everything else is bleh. All right, let's do let's roll one more Katamari. Is this the race one? It says race. There's one on a racetrack that's pretty fun. That's what I'm looking for. Huh. I don't know if it's a different... I don't know if it's an English actor, but it's... Definitely... Ah, uh, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> Wait, I think this one starts you off with Katamari Drive to start with. So Katamari Drive... 
It is even faster. I, I <laughs> so it's actually kind of really hard to control. <laughs> okay, perhaps this wasn't... Maybe I should have just done normal Katamari. Oh dang. I've gone too fast. Holy crap, did you see me rebound? Okay, get the thing, get the thing. Uh, no, get the tire, or get the thing on the... Uh. I love this freaking art style. I, I do about the sketchy filter though. I think maybe if I turn on classic, it'll turn that off. All right, uh, this is too hard to play. Um, we're just gonna play normal Katamari. They heard a j different Japanese voice out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought m maybe they did that. I guess they did. Ugh. Allergies and Parker are getting to me. Pfft, break planet. No oh, dang, I did poorly in this one. Classic Katamari. I think this just disables your jump and stuff. Gotta go fast! Yeah, this just means no new controls, which means no... I don't think you can boost and you can't jump. That was almost a toad noise. Also, you have no obligation to race whatsoever. It's just the setting. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Sometimes not having the jump is really annoying. If you, like, fall off the track. What? What's going on here? Wait. I don't have brakes. I can't stop moving. Oh. But that's why it was so hard, hard to control on Katamari Drive, then. Mario Party is somehow archived footage? Yeah, I guess they just used the... what they already had recorded. Because all Toad really says is, Yahoo! And I don't really remember him saying much else. Oh dang, it's still harder to control than the Katamari Drive. The weird controls are all from this level, not from just... Katamari Drive. I guess I must have just been a lot better at controlling this game when I first played it, because I remember having a lot of fun with this. But maybe it was on normal mode. Ow. I've, I don't remember all of the screaming in this game. But apparently it is there. Well, I do remember, like, some people yelled, but, like, there's some very intense screaming. Oh, get yes. Okay, now we're- now we're doing better. Now we're doing alright. Wait, no, I want those barrels. Not barrels! Ah! Oh, barrels! Give me the barrels! I got one of them. Oh, whatever. That's that's enough. Just just a taste to wet your palate for the barrels. We'll get them later. Oh yes, roll up the other racers! This is how you win in a race, my friends. You just roll everybody else up into a ball. This is why they don't let me do NASCAR anymore. I like how there's a horse, you know, keeping pace with the race, with the, uh, you know, the F1 cars and everything. If you look, the racers are actually, there's a, 
everybody's in different vehicles and crap, it's pretty fun. Like I said, there's just so many little details and so much fun stuff going on in all of these levels. There's just an amazing amount of love poured into, like, pretty much every part of this game. It's good stuff. Ow. There we go. Those cars. Yes, eat the cars. Eat the cars. Not that car. Uh, ooh, steamrollers. Also, I really like how some of the things look almost like they could be like they could fit right in with um, Mega Man Legends. Oh, roll up the audience. I think that's fair game. All right, I forgot. There's a little. There's a whole little island going on. Like I said, there's just so much going on in each of these levels. That's why the Katamari, uh, the Eternal Katamari, where you don't have a time limit or anything, um, it's a really good opportunity to just roll around and explore the levels without just, you know, rolling everything up at first sight. Yes! We can get the totems! I think we can get the trees down too. Oh, nope, not quite. Hey, somebody else is rolling a Katamari. Only the prince may roll the Katamaris. Oh no, only one minute! Okay, yeah, I remember why I like this level now. It's just a little awkward to get back into. There we go, yes! Yes, eat the trees. Eat the other Katamari. Yes, eat the boats. Eat the boats! Oh, yeah. Yes. This game puts you into a very particular mood where you just you just have to get all of the things. You gotta roll, or you, gotta, you see a thing and you gotta be like, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll that in. Oh yes, we can get the buildings now! Oh, I want the grain, I want the grain, I want the grains, yes! Buildings, yes! Can you get the castle? Oh, not quite. <laughs> we almost ran out of things to roll up. This is your biggest Katamari yet? Heck yeah! Oh, and it's not just monsters. Jungle Man lives there, too. What? What was that dialogue? 17 meters. That's jet speed size. It's pretty fast and pretty big. A little boring, but well-balanced. Rude. Analyzing composition. Wheels. <laughs> I detect plenty of wheels. How can it roll with all of that? I'm pretty sure wheels are literally designed to roll. Aw, only 88? Mild, mildly appealing. Yeah, let's make that star, buddy. I'm pretty tired myself. I, um... It's still going down to zero on... It's kind of un rare, but that just means less people are streaming. Or, like, doing stuff. Well, I missed what he said. Anyway, I don't think they fixed it yet. Yeah, I mentioned it last stream, but what happened is that a bunch of, like, a, like the hookup box for the internet, I guess, it's supposed to have separate connections for everybody, and but instead it's a splitter that has four people on one line, and we're supposed to all have our own lines. So, they were going to replace it, which I figured they would have but not by now, but oh. We're kind of creepy. Alright, one, one last level. I think the water one was interesting. Let's do the water one. Sprinkle or something. Sprinkler! Use the cat- oh yeah, yeah, this one's pretty cool. I think this is the demo. Oh, I remember! I played the demo for this and I decided I have to get it.
Um, let's do the catamari drive. Crud, not again. I turn back from my back on a second and look. The land is dry as crusty all over again. It's like a pile of breadcrumbs down there. Keep the water coming. Close that planet down for as long as it takes. You're not getting the story such as it is, like you're kind of intended to, but uh, it doesn't matter. But yeah, basically in this one, you get your katamari wet, and then you run around and you turn the desert into land, or into not dry stuff. It's pretty fun. I think this was, like I said, I think this was in the demo, and I played this and I decided I had to have the game. This is a really fun one. Oop. I like how there's like dust snowmen. Dust men, or sand men, I guess. Like sander falls. Oh, get, why don't why can't I wet that? There we go. I if something happens if you get all of that. Oh no, I'm out of water. Yeah, shut up. Alright. Something happens if you erase all of the sand falls. A little bit more left. Ah, dry again. Kind of wish they had a few more levels like this with just really unusual Katamari physics. Here we go, here we go. You use these things to get up here. I think it's easier to clean up the sand falls from here. Alright, it's hard to get up here in Katamari Drive. Uh -oh. Alright, it's easiest to stand in this. Is that the prince? Oh, that's one of his lookalikes. Ooh! Alright, there's a refill station here. It's really hard to get up here with the Katamari. Did you just roll up a baby? Sorry. I've been known to roll up babies and such. What the heck? Why can't I get up there? Oh, it's a lion. I know there's a way to get up there. Oh, I think it's here. Let's go up here. Hey! We fixed a tree! Planet has no shame. Just keeps drying up. Utilizing water content. Rude. Nah. Recycle floating continent. High phone bill floating continent. Everybody likes the high phone bill water contents. Okay, roll some more. Actually, oh wait, I'll show you the collection real quick. I forgot about that. Um, well, I showed you something, but I... The descriptions are really the charming part of the, uh, the collection. So let's go take a quick look. Yeah, I definitely recommend this game. If you got a PS3 and you haven't played Katamari, or if you just want to play more Katamari, 
Um, definitely recommend this game. Uh, collection, yes. Oh, right, and there's mini games. Let's do a mini game real quick. I think there's a credit mini game. I forget how any of these are played. I think this one kind of combines all of the prior games. Nobody called for me, but here I am. Same. Robo King! I forget what we do in this. Oh. You can just skip the Idiot King's monologue. Wait, did that end the game? Ah, whatever, we'll do a different one. Come on, game, we gotta make it before my controller runs out of battery. Alright, this is- I think all of these are little credits mini-games that you can play. Yeah, they're all kind of retro and... Well, you saw the Famicom cartridges. Oh, I forgot you can shoot! You can shoot things and then collect the little bits. Is this Steam game you hope? Well, most, of, most things will be on sale. And leads in one of the sales. <laughs> Physics. If, if you can't roll up a person, just shoot them and they will turn into two smaller persons. That's how science works, my friends. Well, I can't get you. Big fans of fan of Borderlands anyway. That sort of co-op style. But a lot of games do it kind of generic. There's some co-op game, Dauntless, during the Game Awards that just look like every single four-player co-op game ever. Psst. Oh no! My things! Get no! Wait. I'm below the ground. Uh-oh. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I was stuck! <sighs> Rude. Oh, I guess that was hard mode. Yeah, beautiful Katamari hard. Well, might as well look at what Katamari Forever's ending was. SFV won Best Fighter? It's kind of a popularity contest in some way, well, in a lot of ways. So I guess it's not really too surprising. Just like, um... Um... What's its face winning? Uh, um... The Blizzard thing. Um, Overwatch. I was expecting that one. Up. Oh. Not sure what the deal is with that. There we go. Oh, so those aren't like things to bounce off of. Those are just things to collect. 
It's called Secrets of Grindia. <laughs> so is it like a cheeky sort of game, or...? Is it only the name that's humorous? Oh dang, my high score is like eight times what I have. But maybe the score just increases exponentially or something. Well, not exponentially, but... I mean, this series has a really great way of handling credits. You know. I really like when games have, like, memorable, fun credits. Something that you want to just, you know, you want to see again. Oh, I can't get those yet. It's a house on the right! Wait, that's like... That looks like one of those Mar those level things you exit in uh, Mario 2. The American one. There you go. Now we can go through that. Heck yeah. Can I not roll those up, or...? Doesn't seem like I can get significantly larger. Am I supposed to just light those all up? I guess I am. Uh-oh. I've got a feeling that the song is almost over. Yes! I lit them all up! But why? Oh, you gotta do something, game! What do you mean? Can I roll, roll up those bricks, maybe? There's nothing like else I can get. I guess I got the high score. Oh! Do I get bonus points for that? Don't huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Alright, now let's go back to the collection. <laughs> I like that retro version of the song. Ooh, let's be Mushroom Dude! Um... Let's find people. Police. Specifically police. Weapons. Measuring. I really love the groups here. Evil minion. Minions of the evil tiger. They are weak, but they are great in number. An evil monster toy. Well made and designed. To the finest details. Evil tiger. A monstrous tiger is notorious for its sneaky traps. Tax people with start crawls and fangs. The giant version of the evil tiger. <laughs> Burglar steals all sorts of things. This one concentrates on stealing hamburgers. Famous wrestler. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the it's the kaiju thingy. Oni Island. Oh yeah, this is that's a really cool one. An island home to the Oni ogres. Oh hey, we haven't got the Onis yet. Grab size. 
It's too difficult. Oh, yeah, we're gonna... He doesn't like beans any more than the red one. Okay. A suspicious store. Something seems to be going on here. Mr. Bones! Oh, hell yes! Oh, it's, this stream just got spooky, my friends. A mean person who likes to jump out from hiding places and scare people at night. Neck monster! Yeah, it's totally not Ghidra. I think it's actually Ghidorah, but I always say that because of, uh... The first movie was in English. They totally mispronounce it, but it's very memorably mispronounced. So yeah, you got your super hentai soldiers here. You've got somebody that's totally not Ultraman. It's Jumbo Man, original character. Do not steal. The Jumbo Man brothers. Fight Jumbo Man! The half -man. Marine Jumbo Man. Just a big wrestler. Momotaro. Huh. I think they fixed Ghidra, or have they even made Ghidra movies? Um, since... I don't know, I haven't really kept up too much with, uh... With Godzilla. I used to watch a lot as a kid, but... Chillins, adults, workers, professionals... I'm not sure where it would be, I think maybe... Wait, was there Fighters or something? There's a really cool one I want to show you in Fighters or whatever it's called. Professionals, perhaps? Oh, so there's all the pompadours. I think those are in teenagers. Workers. Oh, they've gone... Oh, they have, like, official things? I guess they would by now, right? Oh, hey, here you go, schoolboy! They have ascending, like, pompadour size. Fat schoolboy. He's what's pretty much... <laughs> he has the most advanced pompadour, though. That's not a pompadour at all. This one's getting started. I love how the smallest pompadour is, like, fairly exaggerated, even. That's, I guess that's even less of a pomp. That's not really a pomp at all. That's more of a mullet. There you go. Summer dude! <laughs> His mother put away all the winter clothes, so he had to wear short sleeves today. All of your standard schoolgirls. Oh, here's some more pomps. I just love that all teenagers have pomps in this game. <laughs> Relaxing nice guy. Same. I guess it must be in a different thing. Hold on. Sora, symbols, evil, celebration. Maybe it's in Hero? No, it's not Heroes. Ugh, danger, maybe? There's some guys doing, like, a super great move. American Cone. This cone is obviously made in America. Oh, it's a piranha plant. Happy flower. Perhaps a little too happy for its own good. Oh my god, it's over... it's two meters tall. Well, one meter, but... <sighs> Police, science... Communication... powerful, maybe? I think it's powerful. Oh yeah, here we go! Ducktail! Ducktail?! What do you mean, ducktail? They call pompadours ducktails? Is that a thing, or is that like a l weird localization thing? He's building up his legs and hips and with so-called bunny hops. His sandals are made out of aluminum. Judo wrestler. You can't throw your katamari. The boxer has a pomp! Look at all of these high-quality pomps. Oh, here we go! Killer move! An epic battle that continues without end. There's not even lunch break. It's just three dudes 
all of them throwing each other and they just roll around. It's amazing. Wrestling match. A thin girl doing the swingy thing. And beetle fight! Hell yes! Two beetles fight it out. This is war. Pompadours are also known as ducktails. I can't hear ducktails and not think of what you're probably thinking of. Woo! <laughs> Duck's ass? Huh, I always heard pompadour. I guess it's the least, the most flattering. <laughs> Why would you call it duck's ass? Let's see what games we got. We got die, we got red die, green die. Sometimes your dice roll will come with the same number. How unusual. You can use this to go, go forward, backward, or enjoy playing out your life. If you don't like thinking too much, just move forward by however many spaces the die shows. Oh, uh, Mahjong tiles. This one means bird. It's very well. Not a very well drawn picture. <laughs> I love the smart acidness of a lot of these. Shogi board, a Japanese chess board. The turns you to capture your opponent's pieces. Baseball toy. Despite its size, people can play baseball in this miniature stadium. How amazing! Video game! Generally a complete waste of time! <laughs> With little redeeming social value. Great fun, though. There's like a really weird mix of the Famicom and the NES there. A thrilling game where you dodge enemy bullets. Hopefully they won't hit anything off screen. Oh, haven't collected that one yet. Operate the crane in this machine to grab things. We wish the crane would help us out a bit more. You have to play a game to get the candy. We think that's silly. Very noisy place filled with arcade machines. Very boring as the customers are all male. Uh, these quickly disappear very quickly when playing Kachinko. Oh, it's the Konami ball. Leisure device that makes an unbelievable racket. When lined up in rows, things get even louder. So fun that people line up just get inside. People lining up don't look very healthy though. That's right. Oh, hey, Annie. Courageous objects are always getting knocked over by bowling balls, but always get back up. You can learn a thing or two from them. And you'd be pretty big in order to knock this over. Humongous bowling pin. Oh my god, it's 84 meters tall. Not only big, but placed way up high. It'll be hard to knock this one down. Bowling alley. Don't knock down all the pins, you get a big X on your scoreboard. Playing card, Monk. A Japanese playing card with a monk on it. This one's very popular during the new year. The princess on it, she's looking very heavily dressed. Playing card with a strange character on it. People seem disappointed when they get this card. King who talks a lot. He doesn't seem very important to us, though. Playing card with many hearts on it. How lovely. It's not very exciting to watch. Wrecked. They yeah, really like the, all the flavor text and stuff. There's just so much personality in general in the game. It really makes it great. People tend to lose everything when they risk all red chips on the roulette. We think it's just bad luck. The coin shaped piece of plastic that is used instead of money in the casino. It has no value outside of the casino though. Oh yeah, Pikmin 2's descriptions are really great too. I love when games just describe everything. Especially when it's enemies and stuff, but even just ordinary stuff can be good. People often throw sharp objects at this, even though it's done nothing wrong. We feel sorry for it. Yeah, Disgaea and Neptunia also do really good jobs of describing things and just giving a lot of gr good flavor text. Uh, we're dropping frames again. Okay, I'll, I'll upload the local copy of this stream since it's been having some issues. Uh, also, the Mormodora stream should be ready to watch. Um, I just need to put a thumbnail on it and I can publish it. Um, I should have done it earlier, but I was kind of busy today. But yeah, that was a fun stream. Thanks for popping in to watch everybody. Um, Alright, so let's just look at one more thing. Let's look at the Cosmos ones. 
If you look up on Earth, you see the blue sky. No wonder it looks blue when you see it from space. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Uh, play satellite. This doesn't look like a planet. We wonder what the design is based on. Yeah, depending on what you use, you get a bunch of different planets and stuff. I... I'm not sure if you have to actually unlock all the planets. I don't think you do. Neat planet. Cosmos size. Looks so much like that thing they give sumo wrestlers when they win. We can hardly tell the difference. What? What do you mean the thing they give sumo wrestlers when they win? Wait, what? Is this a thing? Sumo wrestler prize. Oops. Shut up. What? What, what is a sumo... What, what is that? That does not look like a cash register. That's just a big cup. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm not seeing any cash register trophies. Nah, I... I don't get that one. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm uh, probably gonna turn in early today.